Good day and welcome back to the farm with me, Farmer Jay. Today I thought would be a good day to talk about mod safety. Even though it's not Friday yet, which is when I typically do my review of notable mods for the week, um, I did download and install a couple of mods and ended up with nothing but trouble. So, I thought now was as good a time as any to make this video. We've talked about not downloading mods from sites other than ModHub or in-game. But I thought it was time to take that conversation one step further. What I would suggest you do, especially PC players, this doesn't apply as much to console players because A, you don't have access to script mods, and B, because you don't have access to script mods, the testing process seems to catch most of the bugs before the mods are released. So what I recommend you do is you create a test map. I'm just going to install this mod because I do want to try it out. Because I want to see how big it is. Um, yeah, so go ahead and install a test map. Then download the mods you want to download. Wow, that's only at 4%. Um, for some reason, my bandwidth drops around this time of day, uh, which is 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and I go from getting 500 megabits per second to 60, and ModHub seems to get hammered as well. I guess it's the time everyone gets home on the Eastern Seaboard in the United States and Canada, and it's the time they go ahead and decide to download mods. Okay, we can go ahead with this video without actually installing the large solar array. array. Um, I had installed a couple of mods that I just wanted to check out for the purpose of seeing how well they worked. Uh, one was the power pack mod. And what was the other one? The other one was an, uh, I did the manual combine discharge. Didn't like it. Um, there was another script mod. Anyway, regardless, so I downloaded it, um, another script mod. To the game and all of a sudden my game started doing funny things so I have a separate version of Obelora set up as my test map for mods ah this was the one yes farm production pack beta now I broke my own rule and I downloaded this off um, I, was the author's website, but it was, it's a beta and hasn't been through testing. Um, so I had that installed as well, and I think somewhere along the lines there was a conflict. And I'm guessing it's probably between the Lumberjack mod, the Power Tools, or the F12 mod, as people will refer to it as, and the... What was that mod called? The Power Lift mod. That was the one I was thinking of. Um, 
And I think there was a conflict because all three mods essentially do the same thing. The Powerlift mod adds super strength. The Lumberjack mod adds super strength. And the F12 mod, which is known as the Power Tools mod, whoa, see what I mean? Something is doing crazy things. Um... So obviously I have one more mod to get rid of. Um, that was causing a problem. So like I said, create a test map, especially if you're not on a console. Download and install your mods on this test map and then try them out. If something gets borked or broken, it doesn't matter on your test map. Knock on wood, it hasn't happened to me yet, but it has happened to some people. Whoa, look at that. See, that's another thing. Um, it's happened to other people where their whole game file has gotten corrupted and they're really, really angry because now they have to start that gameplay or that map all over again. So, I feel bad for them, I really do. But at the same time, Part of me wants to say you should have taken the proper precautions. And created a test map. So, I mean, essentially that's all I want to say in this video. Um, do yourself a favor. Even console players, because... I know Mr. CDP has run into the odd occasion where a mod hasn't worked properly. I don't think he's had the problem either where it's completely corrupted his game. Um, like I said, it's much, much harder to completely corrupt a game on a console because the testing process doesn't allow for script mods. I think the problem I have, like I said, is a conflict between some of the script mods. And... To reiterate, um, script mods essentially give the game access to developer tools that would normally be found only in a game with development tools turned on, and then you enable a specific line of code these script mods allow that code to be enabled, i.e. super strength, without having to enable the console or the develop, uh, development mode of the game. And that's why they are more often than not the most likely cause of problems. I found this out when I first downloaded the Grow mod which allows you to press the backspace key to grow a crop of field turns out the giants pcs naturally as they're the developer are all running in development mode the modder who made the mod was also running in development mode they forgot to change a setting back after testing the mod when it got downloaded and installed on regular PCs, it crashed the game because it was looking for the development mode 
to be enabled. Fortunately, they caught that and released a patch fairly quickly. So, I'll reiterate it one more time. Do yourself a favor, go ahead and in install a test map and test your mods on that test map before doing anything else. That's all I have to say. Take care, Jay.